What's good YouTube, Nate with Mask Collector here, back with another PSA um, submission log. So this is gonna be PSA submission number five. And um, this is similar to one of the first few that I sent out. Kinda wanna mix them up a little bit. But I had these already logged in PSA as far as a submission, they're all ready to go. They've all been looked at and cleaned and all that crap. So again, just logging this for personal um, <clears throat> reasons to make sure that I have this and we kind of track it and go back on it next year <laughs> when I get these, get them back and uh, see how we did. So um, we'll just get going with this one. So I got Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman, 1988, Fleer Rookie. A Dennis Rodman Bowman's Best Honor Roll Refractor. And it's got Arvita Sabonis on the back again. A little off-centered to the left, but... Um, it looks pretty good, especially when you look at the back too. So, just love these cards. Um, I have another Dennis Robin Flair Hot Numbers, 95, 96. So it's the 3D one. Michael Jordan Skybox, 1990. Very nice one. Michael Jordan, 90 Flair. A little off centered, not too bad though. 96 metal Jordan. Nineteen eighty-nine hoops. Off centered to the left a little bit. But this card always has one of those those special memories to it, so I wanted to get them slabbed up. It's kind of like the first hardcore year of collecting for me was that year. Um, Topps Gold Label, Michael Jordan. Nineteen ninety nine. Top Stadium Club, Jordan. Another uh, Jordan SP1 1991 upper deck baseball card. It's a little, uh, a little off centered, top to bottom, left to right, just a, just a tad, but it looks pretty good. I'm thinking nine on it. Starting lineup 1990 brown border. Um, it's centered really well. And it looks, it looks pretty good, you know, corners, there's not, not a lot of like staining or anything on it. It looks pretty sharp. I like it. The 1990 yellow border Jordan, this one looks really good as well. Colors are really vibrant yet. Corners are all really nice. Um, I did a, a, yeah, I don't think these were in there though. I did a video where I checked all the corners um, of some starting lineup figures and it was actually for um, for this one right here so this is the 1988 starting lineup Jordan I bought I don't know 12 figures or something like that that I I ripped open and looked at there's a little spot right here like a print spot or it's not on the card it's definitely in the the, the print of the card so it wasn't anything that's damaged to the surface but I'm not sure how they um, how they rate that looks a little like it got a little stain or something on the edges but I don't know I think it looks really cool LeBron James this is a 2004 I'm sorry 2006 
So his fourth year card. It's a sick card. Uh, another LeBron. 2015-16 hoops. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater. Topps Chrome Refractor. 2014. Kobe Bryant. Fleer 96. So his rookie card. Um, it's got just a speck of white on the corner there. But other than that, it's it's perfect condition. I pulled this when I was uh, in college out of a pack. The back looks great too. Um, one of these PSA 10s recently sold for $2,150. So I know the value is high on this, <clears throat> but once uh, PSA gets these in, they review it, they look and see what the value is. Based on that value is how they're going to upcharge you for your card. So they might get to this and say, you know, this guy's crazy to think it's only worth $200. And that might be the case if it turns out to be a PSA 9. If it's a 10, it's worth two grand, they're going to upcharge me for that card. So it'll be 70, you know, 50 bucks um, instead of the, the $12 fee. And that's fine. My other thought process is, is PSA trying to get more money from their consumers by giving out higher grades on modern value submissions? When What I mean by that is, people know that's gonna take forever, that's fine. They know they're gonna get their card graded for 12 bucks. However, if the card's value is higher than the $200 threshold for value cards, modern value, they can upcharge you if it, the card's gonna be worth more after it's graded. That said, go ahead and grade that a 10 for me, PSA. Thank you. <laughs> Same with this one. The 96, 97 Ultra Kobe Bryant. Rookie card. Another one that I pulled myself when I was uh, in college. Same with this one here. Uh, is this a Pacific Collection? Um, this is his high school jersey card. It's a 96. Really good condition. Um, Top school label, Kobe. This one actually is the black label version of it. So you can kind of see that the font and the decal there for the tops part of it says, it does say gold label, but it's the black uh, parallel, which is more rare. These cards are really, really cool. Teddy Bridgewater, this is a green parallel prism. It's not centered the best. But overall, condition is really, really nice. Clyde Drexler, 1988 Fleer. Centering isn't the best on here, but I'm hoping for a 9. The back looks good. Clyde Drexler, 1988 Fleer sticker. Uh, this one is looks really good. So centering top to bottom is r perfect. Left to right, not so much. Um, the back, you can see some wear on the top there and on the corner. You know, I don't think it's going to get a 10, uh, maybe not even a 9, but stickers are not easy to grade. So the, the front of this looks great. Larry Bird, 88 Fleer. Centering left to right, not the best, but overall quality on this thing. The corners are sharp, the edges are nice and clean. No rub on the edges. The back looks not centered perfectly, but good enough. So, uh, nine, probably gonna happen on that. Same with this one, the centering left to right. Larry Bird All-Star, 98 Fleer. 
overall it looks pretty good, but we'll see. LeBron James, Bowman, uh, 2005, 2004. So it's like a second year, second year card. Uh, LeBron James, Fleer, Sweet Signatures. One's from 2004, so a second year card as well. Another LeBron James hardcore tributes I'm sending in. Centering is not the best when you kind of look at the how the corners match up here, but it's pretty damn close. Uh, this is a 2004, so a second year. Uh, I have another Giannis I'm sending in, 2014-2015 uh, Prism base. It's not it's not the silver. And last one in this submission is going to be another Ken Griffey Jr. 1990 Upper Deck second year card, which looks fantastic. Just a great card. Here. Something in the card saver. I still have boxes of this stuff to open up yet. Like ten more. I think I have ten more boxes of ninety upper deck wax that I haven't opened yet. <clears throat> so all right well that's it for that one thanks a lot for joining me on this again subscribe if you have not that would be great like the video hit that bell for notifications on the next ones and we'll see you in the next video thank you bye